Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, this is gonna be a whispered episode of Skyrim. Just as sort of a heads up beforehand. Last episode we uh, had a little bit of a problem staying focused, but now we're back on track for the Thieves Guild quest. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Please excuse me while I adjust my microphone thing, this thing is terrible. Um, if you're gonna buy a mic stand, don't cheap it out. That's all I'm gonna say. Granted, I mean, it probably is better for me to buy the $10 one than the $120 one. Just until I am, but yeah, whatever. Anyways, we're investigating a lizard boy that, um, leads into a pretty fun stealth mission. And that's gonna be oh so appropriate for what we're about to do. So, yeah, um, as a quick little heads up, just in case for those of you who did not watch the Stardew Valley episode, I have officially announced the new schedule um, for my videos. Mondays will be Minecraft, Tuesdays will be Subnautica, Wednesdays will be Stardew Valley, Thursdays will be Skyrim, and Fridays will be a final episode of Minecraft. There will no longer be uploads on Saturday and Sunday just so that way I can have more time to work on other things like homework or projects for this channel or secondary offshoot channels. Hint, hint, wink, wink, notch, notch. I'm not really sure. If you guys don't appreciate the whispered videos, let me know. Because I will be 100% up for not doing a whispered video again. I just want to see how you guys react to them. I like the soft spoken because there's more motion in the voice and I'm not actively straining my vocal cords to make sure that I'm speaking lightly. Ah, jeez, dude, you scared the absolute bleat out of me. Ugh. see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner, looks like that's it. Go. Ah, that scared me. All right, let's go. Come to solitude to join the legions. Take you with them. If not, you can only take what is. Oh crap! There's gonna be a public execution going on when we walk in. They can't hurt Uncle Walker. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother. Head off, and they're gonna make sure he's dead. You betrayed us. Be careful. All hearts are here. Stand back. We are lost. Wait, what? away weapons out weapons away come on guys let's go into the highly crowded area of solitude guards come on over here all of you let's go howdy how's it going Forgetting I played Assassin's Creed. You're no chance for me. Oh, shit. <sighs> what are y'all gonna do? Oh, crap. This is not what I had in mind when I said visit Solitude in. Oh, I mean, 
visible, so I'll do it. I don't even have a bounty, they're just attacking me. Like, this is... Oh my gosh. Holy crap, they're all over there. Impeccable. Hopefully my invisibility doesn't wear off as I'm walking away from him. Alright, that should do it. Oh, there we go. Alright. Let's hope my hostilities are clear. This is not working out as I want to do. This is ridiculous. I'm being attacked by random people for just trying to have a little bit of fun. All of you are ridiculous human beings. Nords. They can't hurt Uncle Vlog here. Tell them he didn't <sighs> Position. Or you need to go home. Just stay there until your mother comes. Get on with it. Hmm. I could use a new uh I could use a new suit. Another charming customer. You're not very friendly. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't mind, really. How are you still in business? It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. I get it. Your ego outmatches every single part of, hum of basic human decency. <sighs> Alright, fine. Aren't these the people that make you put on like a dress for the um, Jarl of Solitude? Can you spare a septum? Lost. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind <sighs> This is an old Skyrim Tower of Protectors. We drink to our youth. To Can I steal your loot? For the age of question is just about done. What do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. Hasn't Mercer... You kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. That's not smart for business. Ugh, fine. I'll just pay you off. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been... I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Well, I may as well do the Radiant Raven thing. I think that's Radiant Raven. I just gotta find the one that isn't a total pushover. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, there you, you are. might want to rethink that outfit. 
Nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should come by our shop. Radiant Wings. We could fix you right up. See, this is how you treat a customer. Kind of. I mean, it's like middle ground. Bittersweet. You're really going to the Blue Palace. That presents an opportunity. If you're willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. <sighs> Alright, I'll do it. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Alright, well, the Firebrand wine is in Palace, so I mean... Yeah, my laptop is burning up. <laughs> I should really put an ice pack on it. Uh, let's see, that's... Alright. Wanna play tag? Papa says I Yeah, actually I do. So I got the little keyboard thing that like does the temperature space. It's about like at like 70 degrees. So I think I'm good for now. Wait. Oh wait. Who's it? Okay, she's it. Oh, the little bugger's after me. Third child go, the depressed one. Where did the depressed child go? Huh. I'm a little worried about that one. I wonder if she's okay. There's something I need to do real fast. Might get nervous if a man approaches his <sighs> Don't worry, you oversell us, bigot. Ow. Robin. Go steal the wine. Boop. Okay. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Are you my gallant hero? Have you come to whisk me away to a life of adventure and romance? 
I made a wish in the town well that a golden knight came to take me to his castle. But we need someone to investigate. Wish if I tell, then we will immediately send our messenger to quell the plague and keep. Need something? Will always be safe up to your mind. eminence. My scrying suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Brood is under what are you doing that for? This is likely superstitious in some sense. Perhaps some more tempered reaction. Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Fault, tell Captain Aldous I said I would find you and other soldiers to Dragon Brood. Thank you, Jarl Elistrat. What about the king? We'll have someone take care of the king. Well, rest easy. You're dismissed. No one has the plague as Winky. Fain Bryling, at your service. Fain. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. Hey, where are you going? I need to talk to you. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Oh, I need to put the clothes on. Isn't there a little hair that goes with it too, or is it just the thing? Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Okay, here we go. With the passing of my dear husband, it's quite fetching actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. Oh really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting. <sighs> well, that wasn't easy money. I hope, anyways. Request for a few dresses quite soon. Someday a gallant hero will ride up and take me away. Someday. I feel really bad for her. No doubt most folk in Skyrim consider the dragons terrifying. I find them wondrous. I wish I had Rowan's sprint. Hey, there's the depressed one. She literally tricked me with her depression to keep me from tagging her. That little sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Gotta get away from me this time. That's too bad. I shouldn't be. Mama said. Maybe if I don't talk. They won't either. Thanks. Papa talks about it some. Mom doesn't say much since Uncle Grog died. He died literally 20 minutes ago. Anymore. I wish he would. At least that way she'd have people to talk to. You would do that? That's great. Hey, you should go do it channel? right now. talk about my brother you think his execution was justified she did did she she's gonna get a sit down later well I wish it were that maybe it is look I want to go back but I won't feel right in there without a tie to Talos my brother Rogbeer wore a symbol of Talos he kept it hidden on his person if I had that I can't go near his body would you get it back for me thanks I should make sure Spari's okay. Yeah, you should. Alright, time to go grave robbing. Should have looted his body if I had the chance. <sighs> but nope. Instead, now I have to go rob a grave because that's what I do now, apparently. Let's rob graves.
something's not right what I just stumble upon what is going on okay well another unfortunate it's about to happen here. Time to go raid the Hall of the Dead. Because why not? Not looking for conversation. Thanks so much. I'll return to Temple. Here's something for your time. Um. If you want to talk about my brother, I'm not interested. You know what? Whatever. I didn't want anything. I have anyways. Just. You know what? Whatever. It's a charity. It's all good. sick bastard ah good here take this i certain not at all as far as i was a she flashed a i brought in the coin and walked away with her not at all however i did notice she was quite angry in this business we rarely deal in name look now since our transaction is done i'll be in my way all right I'm supposed to shadow you, so please start moving and doing your thing. A chat. I got bad news for you, buddy. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. Nothing else to discuss. Move. Shh. I know. Don't worry. You have a big white marker in the back. I have to talk to your sister, who's actually a decent person, so please back off. That's wonderful. You've done us a great service. As promised, the outfit is yours. Cool. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. All right, let's go. Let's go shadow this reptilian monster and find what he's doing to betray the thieves. Wow, this whispering is really doing a number on my throat. I think he knows I'm here. Welcome, you friend. How may I serve you? May your road lead you to warm sand.
see where this guy leads us. Oh, wait a minute. I already know where he leads us. He walks all the way down this path very, very slowly and ends up inside the warehouse for the trading company. And because I'm practically Ezio, I mean, just, just watch. Here he comes. Oh, so ever slowly. If anything, I'm actually better than Ezio. I'm like, not just a sad, uh, shoot. I had that coming. <laughs> I deserved that on every single right for basically just bragging right there. Mouth. Alright. We're gonna try that again. I'm gonna prove that I'm basically like Ezio. Or perhaps not. I can't believe a fall from this height killed me. That's pathetic. Yeah, I guess that was actually a pretty high fall. So, I mean, there was some justification, I suppose. Besides, I overbeared it just a little bit. I have to go back over here. I'm so Assassin's Creed material, aren't I? <clears throat> Although here's some real Assassin's Creed stuff right here. Splash. I can respect that. You're kind of a... I missed him. I'm so good at this. Pow. Darn. That's another one. That's that's three. You're walking up to me. Alright. So we're actually going to continue this in another episode here. We go and uh, explore the stealth mission. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed the Whispered episode. And of course, as always, have a fantastic day.